My name is Christopher Epling. Uh, I work as a cartoonist, an illustrator, and an author. Uh, since 2010, when I started working professionally in the industry, I've illustrated over eight works for other authors, various publishing companies, and um, written and illustrated a total of three published uh, books of my own. After my first book came out in 2010, I started to go and to visit schools. Schools asked me to come in and talk about the book and the drawings. And I thought to myself, after probably about a year's worth of going and simply just showing my book, talking about my book, that if I have this uh, opportunity to have a group of students' attention, what can I do with that? The workshop started up in 2013, so there was a lesson plan created for each grade level. From there, things grew into a larger scale once KVEC uh, picked up the workshop and promoted the workshop and implemented the workshop into an eight-week program where students would create and draw in their own works and stuff. Basically what the art workshop does is having students write a story and have that, that, that the writing checked for their grammar, language arts requirements, and then from there add the illustrations onto their, their subject matter. So there's some students that don't like to draw. So when I bring this workshop into a school and we have some students who like to draw, there's always some that don't like to draw. So the great thing about this is that you can combine students into a team. So you have uh, a student who writes the story and another student who illustrates the story. So they work as a team and they talk, they talk about um, how the book, they plan the book out, what, what illustrations will go where, what will be on the illustrations. And in that process of figuring out what to show uh, of the story, they learn about the different parts of the story, from the introduction to the conflict to the resolution. It, it just so turns out that the uh, workshop fits about five categories of the program review. The schools really liked that. They also liked the fact that students were actually taking interest in it. After I would leave, students would continue, so it wasn't just for that brief moment while I was there. Students would actually start to participate more in the classroom. Now the workshops in particular, um, they're structured in, in ways that fit what the school needs are. Now, sometimes I've went to schools and I've only worked with the gifted and talented folks. Sometimes I've went to schools and I've worked with an entire grade, or two grades, or three grades. The workshop's really, really, really there to serve for the school's needs. If the school's um, um, wanting to incorporate outside learning activities, it's available. If they want to try to raise reading comprehension levels, it's available. It's really what the school needs from a one-day residency to a week-long residency. The workshop can be done in a library setting where the students are cycled into the library each, each period or it can be conducted where I go to different classrooms each period. So it's about enabling students and, and it's not generalized to one grade level. There's no one grade level that, that really benefits more than another. The lesson plan is structured so that from you know even third and fourth grade and, and, and sophomores up the way to seniors, they're, they're going to take a part of this with them. The teachers, principals, um, gifted and talented representatives, uh, family resource coordinators even, um, they've all written to me after I, I, I conduct a workshop, I'll, I'll get a note and an email, and the response from that has been absolutely over, overwhelming. They, they, they've accepted it, they've seen the value in it, and they appreciate it. And all I'm doing, it's not me at all. None of this is about, about me or my work. It's about presenting to students an opportunity to show them that there is something out there for them to express themselves and have fun at it. And while they're having fun at it, they can learn. That's the bottom line about what this is. There's been, you know, increase of reading comprehension scores. There's been increase of uh, student involvement with their studies. But overall, it, it, you know, the response from the teachers and the principals and everything, it, you know, just adds to the value of why this is important. And if a school wants to bring this workshop in, what will happen is the students are going to take away from the workshop the knowledge that there are opportunities out there for them as a career and my main goal, my goal is to leave the school and then in a short while or however long to hear back from the students or the principal or whoever telling me 
that these students are so motivated now, that they're so interested in creating and sharing their work. And it's happened multiple times and folks can check those testimonials out. But, you know, when that happens, that makes me want to continue to drive and push harder to make this available to schools, for sure.